Today's tremor service serves rather as an important reminder to all Utahns. We live in earthquake country. Fox 13's John Franke joins us with a look at why Utah could see an even larger quake. And John, we're not indicating that could be anytime soon. It could be several hundreds of years away even. Yeah, that's very true, Kelly. And this story really is very much a science lesson. You know, we live in one of the most beautiful parts of the country, if not the world. But so much of that beauty around us was created by earthquakes. The Wasatch Mountains are a Utah icon. And there is a tremendous amount of uh, what we would call potential energy. These mountains have evolved over millions of years thanks to all that energy released during earthquakes. Every time you have a big, like a magnitude 7 earthquake, uh, you, the, the mountains go up a little bit higher. The mountains should be a constant reminder. If you wait millions of years, those meters add up and you end up with the Wasatch. That the potential is there for a serious earthquake to hit our state. There's about a 50% probability in the next 50 years that there's going to be a magnitude 6.5 or bigger somewhere along the Wasatch. Keith Coper is the director of the seismograph stations at the University of Utah. Researchers have found that those big quakes don't hit here often. So believe it or not, we have this geologic evidence for about 20 earthquakes, magnitude 7 or bigger, that happened in, in the Holocene, which is the last 10,000 years. That's about one every 500 years, enough of a threat we all need to recognize six and a half or bigger somewhere along the Wasatch. Wednesday's magnitude 5.7 did not deliver nearly as much of a punch as a 6.5 or higher. There would be a way more damage from a 6.5 than, than the 5.7. So this quake can be a lesson. Utah has, has real legitimate seismic hazard. A lesson to not let our guard down and be ready. So it's the kind of earthquake that, that we like because it draws attention to this idea of being prepared. It's the price we pay to live in the shadows of the majestic Wasatch. You know, you don't want to worry people and obsess on this kind of thing, but it is a hazard that, that's out there. And by the way, today's 5.7 was not large enough to add a meter or two to the Wasatch, but it was enough to cause dozens of aftershocks, and those most likely will continue in the days and weeks ahead. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah. Good science lesson there, John. Thank you. The Wasatch Fault stretches 240 miles from north of Malad down south of Nephi. Now, the sections between Brigham City and Levan are the most active. On average, there is a large quake somewhere along the Wasatch Fault every 300 years. The last major quake to hit the Salt Lake City section of the fault was 1,300 years ago. The Weber and Provo segments had a large quake about 600 years ago. Now, the Nephi section of the Wasatch Fault had the last major quake about 200 years ago.